everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be the, uh, looking at this C-17. This C-17 is uh, was designed by Troy McMillan here on um, YouTube, and it's a very nice model. And um, if you go to his, um, his channel, he has a build thread on this and a flying thread on this. And there's some other people on YouTube who have um, bought this, the files for this and built it and went ahead and flown it also. But today we'll just be looking at the design that went into this, um, making this particular model. And let's go over some quick um, dimensions of it. Okay, the wingspan is 1.3 meters. The length of it is 1.2 meters, and a ready-to-fly weight is 1,260 grams. And it takes about 60 hours to print this, and it takes four servos. And I printed this on my Creality uh, K1C. And um, yeah, and it takes two 50 millimeter EDF fans, and you can use three, four cells, or um, um, you can put two batteries in it or use one battery, 2200 milliamp battery, but if you're using one battery, I'd um, um, raise the amps, um, milliamps on that just a little more to get a longer flight time. So, let's go ahead and look at some of the design that he put in here. Now, this is the center section of the wing. And it's incorporated. Holds here, stuff like here. The, um, the whole thing's down once this is on top of here and everything. And he's put um, strengthening braces all throughout here. Very nice design so this doesn't bend in this direction. Uh, he put a little latch, um, not a latch, um, yeah, um, a latch back here that slides into the back of here and holds it down, which is um, really great too. And, um, Put a little hole here on the bottom here so the wires can come down through here and you pull those out. It's very scale looking um, C-17. It just doesn't have any wheels. I've seen somebody who uh, modified it and added wheels to his, but if you go to um, Troy McMillan's site, he's got a, um, a dolly that you can use to launch this and um, that's a very cool um, um, little design in there. That little dolly, how it all works with this. So yeah, so there's that, the center wing section. Okay, now the nose here, I've got this glued on, not glued on here, but just taped on up here, but I printed this off first to um, on my uh, printer to get the settings correct and everything, and so I printed this out first because it was on, the color was there in, in the printer already, so I just went ahead and used it. And um, what he's done here, he's putting internal ribbing in here all around here to give it strength all around this. So this is pretty hard to crush. And then he's got this um, ring back here also. And it looks to be about um, 10 to 15 uh, millimeters ring back here. So this is very hard to squeeze. And on the sides, I mean, you could put a lot of pressure on here and break the sides, but um, it's, it's quite stiff. And he went ahead and put um, um, the windows in here too. And those are inset down inside of there. And on my channel, I've shown you guys how to um, make these insets in here, like he did here throughout the, um, on there for the windows. And bottom doors down here, same thing. Also, I've shown you guys how to do these internal structure like this also. But he's just, um, uh, I've only done, you know, the side and the top. And to put more in there, you just do them the same way, you know, throughout here. And this one that has a, this sort of a U shape up here, um, what you do there, you'll just, like if you put um, a plane here and you drew a flat surface and extruded, not extruded, but extended it inside over here. And um, yeah, then um, all you do is just cut, them, um, cut it out like the rest of these. It's not difficult to do. I've showed you guys how to do that. So that's pretty cool too. Now. One of the neatest features of this, this uh, particular jet that I saw, I never even thought of it, um, the wing here. Then you have, uh, let's see if I can find one. Okay. Like the, the flap here. 
that will go here and um, down. Now, the, um, the hinges are built in here and on the flap itself. Now, the hinge pin, the coolest thing I've um, seen, it's just, all it is is just the uh, filament, the filament that just goes through here and holds it on. So you put a string of filament through here to hold these on. And again, I would have never thought of doing something like that. So a lot of times I, um, I just buy these files to see how um, the designers do things. And then I learned a lot of things also just by watching them do that. This, I'm sorry, that, um, this was the end one here, not the um, center one here, but um, so this is going to end. And then the filament, a string of it will just go down through here come out through here and go all the way down and go all the way down through here. I never, like I said, I never would have thought of doing something like that. Very ingenious, um, his design of doing that. And um, yeah, but like I said, I like buying the files to learn how um, um, people do things and then teach you guys how to do that. So when you do design your own models, you can incorporate a lot of stuff into it, um, your own models when you do that. So you don't have to go um, reinventing the wheel. So yeah, and I'd, um, um, Imagine you could use um, a regular piece of wire or a carbon fiber rod put down there too, but if you got the filament, just use the filament. I just don't see why um, you will, um, waste a carbon fiber rod when the filament um, will work just fine how he does it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, you can see how he cut these out in here. So it'll go directly on top like that. And then the wire, it looks like he left a little gap between here so that you can get to the wire if it's not straight to hit the to go through the next um, hole so trying to get inside of here you can get there by that little there's a little space in between here to move that um, piece of wire which again that's um, very ingenious of doing that because he could have closed all that up you know pretty much but you wouldn't be able to get to that wire inside of there for that so um i would imagine that's why he did that but very ingenious and they're sort of scale looking too, because what he did, he um, designed this in here. So there's like a half moon shape in here, and this is cut to um, um, a C shape on top of here. So now this closes up slightly. If you can see that very nice design and um, the wing here this here is just um, um, hollow inside and it's got um, reinforcement formers in here coming down here also so it's very very strong wing now I printed this with PLA and um, if I were to actually make one a flyable model, I would go ahead and use the lightweight PLA, um, high temperature lightweight PLA. And um, if I were to do that, because where I live, it gets hot here. And um, so the wing is done like that. So I don't know if you can see these lines, but where all these lines are, there's a former right in there to give this wing strength. And it's very strong too. And I like the idea, what he's done also, that all the parts slide into each other. So these wings here, there's a, they have one, they're slotted. One side of it's slotted, so they'll slide in. Like this here, I don't know if you can see that, but this here is thinner, so the next uh, part that goes on here will just slide down onto the top of this. And the fuselage is done the same way, just like that and um, this um, stab back here the same way. And um, it's very good, de um, very good design like that. And it gives a fuselage strength. And um, what I mean here is like, you can see the fuselage here. And then this front half here, it will slide into here. And that's how all the pieces are put together on this. Like that. And then all the pieces, one piece 
has the, um, is open like this. And um, these formers and things inside here are put back like five millimeters. So this here, this little ridge around here, will just slide in and then line up with those um, little um, former pieces inside of there. Also, to give this strength here, you can see what he's done here. He put these on here. And this is uh, somewhat like a battery tray here to give this a lot of strength um, from here. And it goes back. So let's take a look at this here. So you can see here, the top here is where the battery um, will sit on top of there and stuff. It's very um, cool design. And if you can see there, it's um, pretty much it's hollow down the side of there. Yeah, if you take it, you can see down in there. And then it has the formers, the strings on the side here that goes down through here. They give it strength, just like the front piece there. And I like his models, um, Troy McMillan's uh, models. They're all designed very well. And um, I just buy his files, even whether I'm going to print them or not. And, um, you know, because... Um, I want to support his efforts, what he does, because I learned a lot of things from him by just looking at how he designs stuff. And to me, that's worth, um, to me, that's worth more than um, the price of the files. That's just knowing little things that he does uh, when, um, when I look at all this stuff, how, it, how he um, designs the stuff. And um, it's very, very cool. And um, well, here's one of the little engine um, nacelles. You can see he's got um, formers down the side of here as well that go around here. And we take a look at the, um, the section back here. This will go on here and it just slides on here. And then once it's all uh, put together, we have this. So this here will be up here. And then this here. I haven't put this on here because I have to just cut this little slot out down here. And I haven't done that yet. And then this will just slide on into here. So yeah, this is one cool looking little model. <laughs> very nicely designed too and then the tail cone back here too will um, go on here and I haven't cut the stuff over here so this will slide in the back of here as well and this particular plane it's very easy to print the print uh, parameters are very simple to do and um, Kira I don't recall what um, printer he used to print his out on but if I had to guess I would say he printed his um, out on a Bamboo Labs um, uh, printer and I do believe he, he does have the files um, his um, profiles for you if you're using the Bamboo Labs to print the um, to print this out and you can use his settings so you don't have to try to figure out what settings he was using but like I said I just printed this no section because I had to figure out um, how to print this on my um, um, K1C and using the, um, not Cura, but um, like Cradley prints, how to um, get this to print like this. And um, very simple to do. But yeah, and um, these, when the cell goes up to, there's an indention here, so there's no guesswork on where it goes. And um, you just have to have the right one, and it just goes in there. Like I said, you just have to have the right one so it lines up. And then, um, there's a hole here where the wires will come up through and um, go out through the wing and then the servo will go in there also. 
But as you can see, if um, this is a very nice looking uh, model, and again, I learned um, a lot from this. And if you guys want to um, uh, purchase one of these, just go over to Troy McMillan's um, YouTube page, and he's got the um, the address where you can go there and download these files. I don't remember how much they cost. Could have been forty, fifty dollars. I don't remember, but. Just go over there and um, download the files over there and go ahead and get this printing. And like I said, if um, just do a search for C17 3D printed um, and you'll see uh, other people who have printed this plane and it's flying. And also on Troy McMillan's page, you can see the plane flying also. And he has a build thread on how to put this together and everything. And um, the, like I said, there's another person who actually uh, modified it and put wheels on it. So yeah. But um, anyway, if you have any questions on um, anything on my channel, just go ahead and leave a, um, the um, question down in the comments or go over to my Facebook group or send me an email or my Patreon site. And uh, my Facebook group and my Patreon site, both are called Cad Bill Fly or C. And um, if you can, go ahead and join my Patreon site. And if you can, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. Also hit that like button as well. And um, that's going to do it for this video. And like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.